Hey, this is Joe from Personas, and today we're going to talk about templates in Studio One and why they matter. Whether you're new to Studio One or you've been using it for years, templates make a great addition to your workflow. I want to show you how they work today, but real quick, let me explain what they are and why they're important. So here's Studio One. Let's say I just downloaded it for the first time and I want to make a song. This is typically what we expect to see in really any new software that we use, whether it's a recording software or word processing software, just a blank page. Now, I love a blank page to an extent. I like the idea of endless possibility and the fact that it's nice and clean and I haven't messed anything up yet. It's a clean slate. However, um, when you start making songs and you make a song after song after song, what you'll find, at least what happened for me, I loved starting with a blank slate early on as I was learning how to do audio, but I found that I was doing the same tasks over and over. So things like I would always create these number of tracks and have them be this name and this color, um, and I would have them all routed this way through this bus, or I would have this reverb set up and this delay, and I would constantly find myself spending a good amount of time redoing these same repetitive tasks with every song that I opened. And I finally realized, maybe there's a better use of my time. Perhaps this technology that I have sitting in front of me could do some of those repetitive tasks for me so that I could just sit down and get right to the music as soon as possible. That's really, for me, where the rubber meets the road, the big benefit of a template, is you're starting with some things already in place. You're hitting the ground running and you've got the things within reach that you might need. For example, if I was going to sit down and record a bunch of acoustic guitars for an album, right? And I'm thinking I want to record lots of different guitars with different tunings, different voicings, different sounds, different tones. It would make sense, right, that I would put those guitars around me, right? Get some guitar stands out, get the guitars close to me, make sure they're all in tune and ready to go before I hit record. So then while I'm recording, I can just grab whatever guitar I need. Templates are kind of that sort of a thing. They put things in place that I know I'm going to need in the future. And then once I set it up, I don't have to do that ever again. So let me set up a very, very basic template for you, show you how it works, and then you can expand on this to meet whatever needs you might have in the studio. And what you might be thinking, let me just really quickly debunk one of the things you might be thinking, is I'm talking about a template with a certain EQ setting or a bunch of different virtual instruments set up and ready to go. For me, that's not how I use templates. Um, I don't have a preset, this is how I EQ a kick drum, because it's different every time, because it sounds different every time. What I'm talking about is more about the process of setting up the session, and I have templates that help me do that more quickly. So let's do an example template, a very, very simple idea of simply wanting to record my microphone to a single track. So one mic, one track. Let's do that. So here's a blank session. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up how I want my template to be. So we'll call this mic. Isn't that a great name? We'll make sure that it's, I don't know, yellow works for me. And we'll create the track here. Um, but it's not ready to record yet. I'd like this to be ready to record as soon as I open it. So I want to hit the record enable button there. Uh, but that's not the right input. This microphone's plugged into input three. So let's go ahead and change that to input three. Okay, now we can see that my microphone has a level there. And let's say I always like to see my start and end markers um, in my session. So I'm going to make sure that my markers are visible. And now I can see my start and end markers. So I've got a nice five minute spot here in front of me ready to go. This is what I'd like to do. When I open up a session, I've got an idea. I turn to Studio One. I want to open a brand new song with this setup with a microphone ready for me to press a single button. And now I'm recording. Let's even zoom in a little bit so it's not so zoomed out. So now within seconds, I'm recording. So how do we do this? Let's undo that. What I do is come up to File. And I choose, instead of the normal save as, I'm going to choose save as template. And this will open up a window, and I can name this one mic. Super descriptive. And I can say, OK. Now, that's all. It's, it's done. It's finished. How do we access it? Well, let's close this song, and let's pretend we're coming into Studio One for the first time today. And I have this idea for a song. <laughs> I need to record that down really quickly. I go, new song. And then there's a menu here with a bunch of different options. I'm going to select user, because these are my user templates. I'm going to select one mic, and I'm going to hit OK. 
and I'm going to press record. <laughs> there, my song idea is now recorded. It was there and ready to go. Did you see how many clicks I had to do? Not many. I literally had to come in, press record, and I'm good to go. So if I say new song, here are my templates. I choose one mic template. I could name it here if I want, but it's going to default to my name with today's date, which is actually pretty handy. But I could call this cool humming idea. And then I hit enter. It opens. I hit record. And I'm recording. So to me, does that make sense? Remember how I had to do several different things to get this set up and ready to go? Now I can do that just with that microphone or with that specific template that I created. Now imagine that you do a lot of mixing and you want to have a folder for your drums and a bus set up for your drums and the same set up for your bass and your guitars and your vocals and your background vocals and your guitars and your keys and things like that. Suddenly you find yourself It'd be great to have that all set up and ready to go. Maybe even a few reverbs and a few delays that you always use in your mix sessions. And that's what I've done. So if I say new song and I come to mix template new, it's the newest one that I created, and I say, okay, check it out. We don't have a blank session anymore. What we have, <laughs> there's my pretty face. What we have is a full on uh, kind of a mixing board ready for me to drag tracks into this drums folder, this bass folder, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And they're all set up with their own buses. They've got a fat channel there. It doesn't have anything on there yet. It's not. It's not changing the sound of the audio, but it's there waiting for me to go in and use it because I tend to use fat channel on a lot of my buses. So this is I can drag tracks in and start getting a good sound really quickly. But it could be any type of music. This isn't like pre-done for a certain style of music. If someone sends me a simple guitar vocal, I can still drag them into this template. I'll just get rid of some of the extra channels that I don't need, and I can get to work right away. This has saved me, I don't want to exaggerate, but I would imagine over the years that I've used templates, it saved me hours and hours of time. But more importantly than that, it's allowed me to get into the music quicker, right? If I have to spend... 15 minutes setting up a session every time I want to make music, that's a friction point that I might not want to bother doing on a given Thursday night after having a long day. And I wanted to record, but now I know if I go up there to the studio, I'm going to have to spend 15 minutes setting this thing up. I don't feel like it. Pass me another drink. Let's watch something on TV. So instead of doing that, if we had a system that I knew I could walk up those stairs and within 60 seconds, I'm doing whatever it is I came up here to do, that is a kind of a game changer when it comes to making music. We want to remove as much friction as possible. Templates are one wonderful way to do that. A couple of quick housekeeping things in case you have questions about this. There is a way, at, let's say, let's go back to our microphone template we made um, right here. Let's say over time we realize, you know what, this is great, but I'd like to have a second track for my guitar because I find myself doing that a lot. So we create a second one called guitar. We choose the right input. We make it whatever color that we want. Now we can save this as a new template or we can replace the existing template. So if we come to save or to file, save as template, you'll see we can just save it as whatever template we want or we can replace an existing template. And this will actually pull up a window that shows me all the templates that I have right now and I can choose which one I wanna replace. And it'll replace that existing one overriding it so we can continue to update our templates as we start to learn what we like and don't like about the way we're setting them up. So you're not locked into doing it just one way forever, you can constantly update it. By the way, also that folder that you just saw, that's located inside of the Studio One um, the folder that you house all your Studio One stuff. So if you come to your preferences, go to locations, user data, this is where those templates are. So if I come over here and we open up that folder for a second, you can see the templates go into a folder. I bet you can't guess the name of it. That's right, it's called templates. So if I open that up, I can see all of my version five song templates here. Okay. Now, if I ever want to, um, if I have some templates I don't use anymore or I've retired from using them, I can go into that folder and I can actually, hang on, let me show you that again. I've actually done this before. I have old templates that I used to use. Maybe it was for um, a podcast that I did or a particular album project that I needed a template to do that project. But once it's done, I don't need it anymore, but I didn't want to delete them. So I just drag them over. So I could do like, take this one mic template. So let's say we're done with it for now. I can drag it into a, a folder I created called retired that will remove it from the list, but I can always get back to it later. Likewise, if someone sends you a template to use, drag it into this folder, and it'll show up in your list of templates to choose from when you go to create a new song in Studio One. Okay, I know I've thrown a lot at you, but I wanted to give you everything you need to get started using templates today. I would encourage you, if you're just starting out with templates, to start small. Create something really simple, like a single mic, 
um, and a single channel, and then work from there. You don't need to create the mother of all templates starting out. Chances are you're going to create it slowly over time as you learn and evolve your starting template the more and more you use it. All right, thanks so much for watching this. If you haven't subscribed to our channel and hit the notification bell, please do so. Other than that, I'll see you in the next one.